So what is the definition of a training aid? Well, in motor learning, a training aid is really referred to as a guidance device. And by definition, a guidance device reduces or eliminates errors and ensures that the proper pattern is carried out. Sounds great, right? Why wouldn't we want to reduce or eliminate errors resulting in the changes that we want? Does this mean that we should use training aids all the time when we practice to make sure that we get it ingrained into our muscle memory? Wrong. There is no such thing as muscle memory. And the goal of this course isn't to go into that topic. But if that just raised your eyebrows, I highly suggest you take a look at our free motor learning course hosted by Matthew Cook, where he discusses this topic. Sorry guys. Back on topic. So that definition sounds great and all. And the intentions of guidance devices and training aids is of course to enhance performance in the future without that aid. But we have to be careful. The research suggests that while learning might be facilitated by small amounts of guidance, the negative impact on learning accrues very quickly. Meaning that training aids can go from learning aids to crutches really quickly. And they are only part of the puzzle when it comes to learning and retaining a new movement. So why is it that learning decreases so rapidly when we use training aids? At GLT, we know that cognitive stress is essential to learning. And we know that without cognitive stress, golfers quickly begin to participate in what Dr. Tim Lee refers to as some zero practice. So how do we prevent this from happening? Well, throughout the next two sections of this free online course, we're gonna dive deeper into this answer as we discuss spacing, variability, and challenge. But first, let's take a look at feedback and the conceptual model for movement control and motor learning to better understand when and how training edge should be used. <laughs> 